Akuna Matata, my friend. Very exciting video. At the end of this video, we will be able, with the Canon EOS R5, record 5K ProRes RAW up to 30 frames per second into the Ninja 5. So first, let's set up the Canon EOS R5 to output RAW via the HDMI. To be able to shoot 5K RAW, your EOS R5 need to have the latest firmware. It's mean the 1.4. And here, how you download the 1.4 to update your firmware. So you go to the download page and go into the firmware and you select whatever software or whatever operating system you have. Mine, I have Mac. So I'm gonna download for Mac. So you select, and I mean, you agree, whatever that term is, and you download it. Right, so it's download. So next thing, you have to open it, the folder that you download, unzip it, and next thing, you need to copy the firmware, you know, the one you say dot F I R to your SD card or CAF Express card, whatever card you have and you need to insert it into your EOS R5. So now let's activate the Ninja codec that will allow us to recall ProRes RAW into the Ninja. Let's now activate the codec uh, for the Ninja to be able to recall the 5K RAW from the Canon EOS R5. It's simple. You just need to go into the my.atomos.com portal. And if you're already a user, you will have an account there. If not, you can create a new one. So when you are in my Atomos portal, so the Ninja or your product that you register already will be there. Mine is here. So when I click on it, so it gives me the options and it give me more detail about what I register there. And you can see that I already activated my Ninja to be able to recall ProRes RAW. And I choose ProRes because I use Final Cut Pro. So if you have any other, so you can choose whatever that D and X or whatever that you like. But for me, is ProRes RAW. So it's already activated and my Ninja is activated. Otherwise, you follow those instructions to be able to activate your codec on your device. So that is done. Your Ninja is activated and is ready to recall, to recall ProRes RAW. So let's move to the next step. So now the two devices, the Canon EOS R5 and also the Ninja 5 are up to date. So next thing is we need to set them up so that we can recall the 5K ProRes RAW. Okay, now let's first start by setting up the Canon EOS R5. So here's the first setting that I am um, changing into the EOS R5. So you still on the shooting menu and let's go into tab eight. So in the tab eight, I'm looking for time code and HDMI. So in the tab, in the tab eight, so I select time code. I need to turn the time code and the record command to on. So time code and you go from the time code, you go to HDMI. You select HDMI 
and then you select time code on time code on and then also the recording command on as well so both of them need to be on so that's the first setting so the next setting is this year for you to be able to record 5k you need to enable movie cropping that will allow you to choose your desired 5k frame rate so you we go to again shooting in the menu shooting right and below moving record quality we have movie cropping now it's disabled we need to enable it so select it enable i think we know that the canon EOS r5 has a limited recording time so to bypass that we need also to have extended recording time limit so we're gonna set up the EOS r5 as well to allow us to record unlimited so it is simple we go again into the shooting menu and we go into tab eight and in here we select standby low res and we need to turn it on now is on when we choose the standby low res mode enable the EOS R5 would display this message this message that HDMI output in standby may differ from the recording quality settings I mean this message only apply to the standard video output yet yeah, so don't worry at all about this one so yeah just press ok and we are set so the last setting the most important setting to do now we need to enable 5k raw via the hdmi so we're still in the tab 8 so we go down and hdmi raw output now is off and we need to turn it on so now wonderful almost set so now let show let me show you you know in the movie, movie record quality the option of the 5k row now so if you click on it so we can see now we have option for 5k row standard and all the settings that you know we said movie crop total record time everything is there great so the canon eos r5 is set and is ready next thing is we need to set up the ninja 5. after connecting the eos r5 after setting up the eos r5 to be able to output via the hdmi 5k row then now the ninja 5 is prompting us saying that prores codec selection is required to view this signal raw signal is detected so we press OK, and as soon as we press OK, we can continue with the ProRes row. So I press OK. It's going to do its magic in the background. And bam. So we can see recording here. We see ProRes row. So when I click on it, so now we have as a codec ProRes row and as a compression ProRes row as well. As the recording format, we have 5K P25, I mean 5K 25P. So it's go up to 30P. Let's stick with the 25P now. So that is set. But the thing is that I always like is that in terms of the compression, I choose ProRes Raw HQ. So now I choose ProRes Raw HQ and I can confirm it. Confirm. And it's again it's gonna do its thing in the background and it's confirming. Then there's other few settings that we need, you know, we need to address as well. So we go back into the menu. Right. So now let's go back into the input menu because there's there's a few settings that we need to change there as well. So input, and the first thing that we need to change, you see why it says HDMI standard. In terms of the HDMI, 
So there we need to change to compatibility mode. So when we click on it, and then we get the option compatibility mode. So for you to record 5K RAW, you also need to select that compatibility mode for the HDMI standard. So that's one thing. So there's a one last setting that we need to set. So why you see there is mean trigger. So that's what we are gonna set as well. In this one, we need to turn the trigger on. So first we need to select trigger HDMI and then trigger on. So now the trigger is on. So we have our, in just summary, so we have 5K, 25 frames per second as a signal in terms of coming from the HDMI source, HDMI standard compatibility mode on. Because actually when we just put a 2.0, it may that we not gonna get the 5K on. So we need to change that. And also we need to turn on the HDMI trigger. It means that when we press the recording from here, so we can record straight away, you know, from there too. Right, so that is done in terms of the recording format. We have the ProRes RAW as a codec format and compression we have a raw hq progress raw hq recording format is 5k 25p done so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna take the camera go by the harbor of toronto and i'm gonna shoot raw and in the next video i'm gonna show you how we going to edit that raw that i recorded is going to be a wonderful and also we will see what is the quality what is the noise ratio and everything right for you not to miss that video if you are not subscribed to my channel hit the subscribe button right now for you not to miss that <laughs> and also next time when i record that i'm gonna upload the footage the raw footage that i recorded so then if you want to download it and play with it you will have the opportunity to do it as well so do not miss the opportunity so hit the subscribe button now and like this video and i will be looking forward to bring you the next video okay my friend i'm gonna go to you stay safe you stay protected god bless you from me to you only love from toronto <laughs> bye now ciao